Hey YouTube, this is TCG Shack here, and this is Perfecting Scraps Part 21. In this one, I'll be talking about some of the rulings with the scrap cards, in case some of you don't know. Now, there's obviously some tricks you can do with the rulings as well, which means you can play around with them, maybe get around certain things, which I'll explain in the video. First one is Scrap Storm and Book of Moon. Now, Scrap Storm says select one face up scrap monster in the field and then all those shenanigans and basically Book of Moon will not stop it it's basically its condition is you need to select the scrap mon face up scrap monster to start with that's basically the cost which means that happens first once you've selected it they can Book of Moon it if they want but it won't stop the effects which means because you've already selected the face up scrap monster, in the end it'll just be face down, it'll still be destroyed and if it's like the scrap tuners it'll still get its effect as well so basically Book of Moon is useless against scrap storm so they can use it all they want against it next thing is the scrap tuners um, these guys never miss their timing you could choose not you can choose not to use their effect, but um, since it says if blah 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 you can in their effects and not when blah 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 you can, they never miss their timing because if it says if on it, it can't miss its timing, such as Sangan, but if it says when, such as Metclor Granal, then they can miss its timing. So that's one thing. Also, the other thing is, if they're face down on the field and they get destroyed by scrap effect, it'll still get get its effect because the effect activates in grave. So that's fine. The thing with the scrap monsters is, when it's destroyed, like in the middle of the chain, like they you summon scrap beast and they bottomless it, and you change scrap storm, every Scrap Beast's effect will happen after the chain resolves, so it'll basically start a new chain. So, say they, say you summoned, say you have Chimera and Beast on, Chimera on field, you summon a Beast, since this is near the start and you didn't get Chimera's effect, and they Torrential Tributed. At this point, you can change Scrap Storm to Scrap Beast, send Golem to Grave, and then what will happen is Scrap Scrap Beast will get destroyed and sent to the grave, and its effect won't activate yet. Torrential Tribute will destroy the field sending Chimera to grave, meaning once Torrential Tribute finishes and all monsters are gone, that's when Scrap Beast activates its effect. Therefore, you can actually, therefore you can add Chimera from the graveyard back to your hand, even though it was destroyed after Scrap Beast was. So it's a nice trick that you can do. The next one is the Dragon's effect. These guys roar. Um, this wouldn't apply to this one in this format, obviously. But raw is with raw oppression. If you have raw oppression and they and they use raw oppression to stop your dragons, you won't get the effect because um, it's you that controls raw oppression. So therefore, it's your card that stops your dragon's revival. So you don't get its effect with that. But if your opponent's the one with repression and they use it, it's fine. Which also, which also gets to the point with the Solemns. If your opponent's Solemn Warnings or Solemn Judgments your dragons, since its effect doesn't say if it's destroyed on if this card on field is destroyed, it just says if this card is destroyed by the effect, special summon. It's like um, LEDD or LAD or Light and Darkness Dragon, whatever you want to call it. If you solemn warning that, it'll still get its effect in grave. So, if they solemn warning or solemn judgment, your dragons, you can basically bring back golem, bring back a goblin or twin, and make another one, which is pretty stupid. Which means these guys are useless against them, unless you only have a beast. But again, you're only you're still going to get a beast to jib at them. So, also another trick is with the mech lord granel and the scraps. Basically, what you do is basically to avoid stuff. It's basically, with these cars, there's a trick you can use. The lighting keeps randomly changing. Stupid clouds. 
So, say you have like a scrap beast on field, you scrap storm it. It's this is chain link one. Therefore, you do all the things at the very end. This is destroyed and sent to grave. Obviously, this will get its effect, but you can also use this guy's effect as well. What you can do is you can switch around which effect happens first. Say you activate Mechlord Granul's effect first, then chain Scrap Beast's effect afterwards. Therefore, last thing on the chain is Scrap Beast's effect. What this will do is stop um, Mechlord Emperor Granul from being solemn warninged and solemn judgmented. Since the last thing to happen is Scrap Beast. Now, this is a good place, so you can avoid your Gran will get in Solemn Warnings or Solemn Judgment, which is the big cards right now that stop stuff, so it's good if you want to guarantee your Gran will getting on field and you know what your opponent's face stands is, because say you like trap dust shooted. The other thing you could do is, like if your opponent has Bottomless or Tarantial Tribute, what you do is you switch it other way around. Use Scrap Beast's effect first and then chain Mechlord Emperor Granules. Therefore what happens is it'll go backwards, this will hit the field first, and then you add a card to hand, meaning Bottomless Trap Hole and Torrential Tribute has missed its timing to be able to activate on Mechlord Emperor Granul hitting the field since the last thing to happen is Scrap Beast's effect of getting it to hand. It's a nice little play you can do with these cards and basically play around so you can avoid stuff that you'll basically have problems with. That's pretty much one that's pretty much what I'm going to explain in this video. And also, if you didn't already know with Scrap Orphanus, he is a semi nomi card, so if he's special summoned with his own effect first and puts a grave, you can Chimera him back, reborn him, but if you scrap storm him to grave, you cannot reborn him or Chimera him back, so just to keep that in mind with you. So just remember, semi nomi. Get him out to hand first, use its effect, now you can play around with it as if it's an R tuner, engraved like peace. Anyway, that's this video for you YouTube, sorry about taking ages, I've just basically found time after university, just finished. So, bye!